Hey collective, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So we are officially in Libra season and I am second guessing myself. Um, you know, the hardest part about these tarot readings sometimes is not even doing the reading or having to deal with all of these energies. It is trying to figure out what the best title is, honestly. Don't let anyone fool you. Sometimes that is the hardest part. And with one of my recent videos, I was going back and forth and I was changing the title. I had two different options and I was like, should I do this? Should I do that? And I just could not decide. So I just went with my gut there. But, you know, it's kind of funny how sometimes we doubt ourselves so much and then we end up just kind of picking anything at that point to relieve ourselves from that pressure of going back and forth. So just thought I'd share that. Um, let's just see what we get for the collective energy maybe you are also having you know some doubts or doubting yourself or going back and forth between things hopefully you know if that's the case then this message will provide some um, reassurance or clarity or comfort you know whatever it can do as long as it's a positive thing but if you are new to my channel then welcome and for those of you that are returning viewers then please remember to hit that subscribe button and um, thanks for being here. So let's just jump right in. And we have the star at the bottom of the deck. So some of you could have Aquarius placements. Uh, maybe the star represents the fact that right now you are holding on for any amount of hope that you possibly can when it comes to something. I'm kind of getting a little bit of this sort of heavy energy here. Feels like a lot of you are trying to be hopeful about something, but maybe at this particular time you're struggling or you're finding it challenging to be hopeful because of the obstacles or maybe something that's happening right now that you just feel like isn't really giving you much other options, but to maybe start to guess or second guess or doubt, right? The path forward, but we have the Nine of Swords, the Eight of Cups, the King of Pentacles, and the Five of Wands. So this is kind of what I mean by some of those sort of heavier energies because that Five of Wands is somewhat of an internal conflict. It's sort of like this feeling of wanting to, you know, make a decision, but then not really knowing, being confused, sort of kind of this flustered energy. And then that Nine of Swords is having difficulty maybe concentrating, difficulty sleeping, having anxiety, you know, kind of like you're feeling overwhelmed, foggy brain, right? That could be something that's, you know, that could be a sym symptom, right, of what's happening. And then that Eight of Cups is this energy of, you know, maybe you wanting to distance yourself from something, maybe you want to walk away, maybe you have to walk away and you're not ready for that. You know, whatever the case, I feel like that King of Pentacles could also resemble the fact that you may have, you know, certain responsibilities or maybe there is a financial stressor right now that is making you feel this way. But I hope, you know, hopefully um, you understand that the universe wants to reassure you that one, you're not alone, but then also you know, maybe the outcome of this situation is a lot different than what right now you have pictured in your mind. So let's go ahead and clarify the Nine of Swords. We have the Empress at the bottom of the deck, which is that Venus energy, that's Taurus, that's Libra, that is that divine feminine energy, um, maternal energy. We have the Hierophant, which is Taurus, Gemini, or sorry, Lovers, which is Gemini, and then the Ace of Swords. So this could be something related to a commitment, a connection, a relationship, a marriage, a partnership of some sort. It's almost like this Nine of Swords and the Ace of Swords here kind of resemble this energy of, I can't sleep because I can't ignore this, right? Or I can't focus because this is really making me realize that I have to do something. It's kind of like you have this understanding or you've had this epiphany that is kind of making you feel a little bit, you know, sort of, it's kind of like a jittery feeling because when we, when we are aware of something that we can't ignore, it's kind of like that information can sometimes consume us. And so we feel like we have to do something. It's almost like when your best friend tells you a secret, right? Let's say this is more in the context of you being a child and it's like, you know, they tell you a secret. And now all of a sudden you're like, oh my gosh, I have this information. I kind of want to share it, right? But you can't. So it's like, that may not be the best example. That may not be what you're resonating with. But I just feel like it's something like that, right? This sort of nervous energy from that Nine of Swords. And then with the Hierophant and the Lovers, it's like there's a person connected to this as well. There's somebody else here that you are dealing with where it's like there's a lot of 
um, maybe commitment, there's a loyalty here, there's a bond, there's a connection. You know, maybe the Empress represents a maternal energy. Maybe this is you and your, you know, family member kind of going through it right now. But I feel like with the Two of Wands behind that Empress, you're, you're really trying to think about the future here. Um, or some of you could just be nervous about making a major commitment. Or, you know, maybe this Ace of Swords represents you making, you know, sort of like a decision and getting ready to share that. Let's see. Let's see if we can make some sense out of this. Let's clarify the Five of Wands. Five of Pentacles. So again, there's a, another sort of energy here of, you know, feeling, I feel like either you don't want to be disappointed or you don't want to disappoint. Um, but I also feel like that Five of Pentacles could represent the feeling of maybe not having enough or not doing enough, you know, feeling like something is missing, feeling like there's something lacking. Um, we have the Three of Wands and the Wheel of Fortune right behind it. And then the Ace of Pentacles. So kind of interesting to see these positive cards behind that Five of Pentacles. It's almost like this is the worry and then this is the reality. It's like this is what's going to happen. But right now there is this very big fear of failure or fear of not getting it right or not doing enough to guarantee this opportunity and to guarantee this path forward and, you know, better things to come. I almost feel like some of you could just be, you know, maybe a little bit hard on yourselves at this time. And the universe just wants you to know, you know what, collective, don't worry so much because you, you know, you're not giving yourself enough credit or you're not recognizing that those seeds that you planted a while back, you know, they didn't forget about you, right? It's like things are happening. Things are finally moving forward, but you could still be, you know, holding on to some of those energies of when you first started this process, right? When things were harder. So it kind of makes sense um, because you haven't seen the results yet, but I feel like you're about to, and I feel like that's going to change your mind and that's going to change your perspective about how everything is going down. So we have the Strength, Seven of Wands, and the Four of Wands to further clarify the Five of Wands. So this is also interesting because this Four of Wands is speaking to you reaching some sort of milestone, reaching some sort of finish line, and, you know, kind of celebrating that, celebrating your success, celebrating your achievement, right? Celebrating this big goal. And then the Strength card is that strength, the bravery, the courage. This is you putting your hand in the lion's mouth and saying, I did it and I wasn't afraid, or maybe I was, but I did it anyway, right? It's like, this is you proving that you are not um, letting fear stop you, right? Faith over fear. And then with that Seven of Wands, this is that fight. This is that, you know, energy of I'm going to, you know, do this for me. I'm going to stand up for myself. I'm going to defend myself. Or the Seven of Wands could just simply be, you know, your... You, you kind of recognizing maybe that something something scary or something that gives you fear is also the same thing that gives you motivation. You know, maybe you're learning some, something about yourself there. Um, feels like a surprise of some sort. But yeah, I just feel like the energy that that's coming through for the outcome doesn't match the energy that you're feeling personally. And I think that that's just because the universe is wanting to, you know, sort of make it known that what you're anticipating is not the same as what's going to happen. And I feel like that's a good thing because sometimes we need to know that. We need to know that our fear um, is worse than what we're fearing, right? So I feel like maybe the universe is saying, don't doubt yourself, right? Don't second guess yourself, collective, because, you know, you have made things, you've made things possible for yourself. You have. Maybe you don't believe that right now. Maybe there's still some things that are missing. And so it's kind of hard to accept that, that you are successful or that you have come this far. But a lot of you do need to, you know, understand that just because it's not perfect doesn't mean it's not success. All right, let's clarify the, let's clarify the Eight of Cups. Oh, Magician which is that Gemini Virgo energy. But I love that because to me, this is you walking from walking away from something in order to manifest. So right behind the magician is the devil, which is Capricorn. But to me, this is clearly saying you're walking away from some sort of an energy or environment that doesn't work for you in order for you to manifest. It's like, you know exactly where you're supposed to go in order to do this, or you know that you have to go somewhere else to manifest or to be in a different environment or to have a different mindset. So we have the Ace of Wands, Two of Wands, and the Four of Pentacles. I feel like with that Two of Wands, this is about you kind of clearing the path or seeing a path for yourself and making plans to go after it. 
Ace of Wands, this is the change in perspective. I feel like this is the aftermath of when this energy kind of sinks in that you are successful or that you are on the right path regardless of how fearful or how worried you are i feel like after all of that is said and done this is where you really start to to cook up some good stuff right this this ace of wands is speaking to a change in perspective this four of pentacles is speaking to you being a little bit more maybe um careful with your energy right not letting others take it away from you being you know protective of your energy in order to keep yourself in a good place and a good headspace and then that two of wands this is you pan planning for the future it's almost like the universe is speaking from your higher self and saying if you think you're struggling right now it's fine because you're going to overcome it and this is this is how right this is proof that you're going to overcome it you're going to get back to thinking about things planning for the future being creative being excited and happy about what's going to you know happen all of that so you know don't let this moment kind of stop you from believing in yourself really love this for you hope you take it all in and if you like this reading and it resonated please give it a like please subscribe and i will see you in the next one